Today, guys, on Beer Geek Nation, we're looking at a beer from Great Britain, something I don't do too often. This is from J.W. Lee's, and this is their Harvestdale aged in Calvados barrels, coming in at 11.5%. It's a traditional English-style barley wine aged in Calvados brandy barrels, which is a French-style brandy for, I believe, around five months from what I'm doing in my research on this one. The Harvestdale started with, was brewed in 1986. Basically, they take the first harvest hops and brew it with that and that's how they get the name it's one of those beers a lot of people collect they have big vintage sets of they do big tastings they do a lot of different barrel agings of this beer i've never had this beer in particular i've never had it non-barrel aged i love brandy barrel beers so i'm like you know what screw it let's review it so let me do just that let me get into a glass so that you guys know how it smells tastes and give you the final verdict on the jw lee's harvestdale in calvados barrels all right, guys, the aroma on the Harvest Ale and Cavados casks. Oh, wow. Huge dark fruit notes on this one. Classic English barley wine, almost like a raisin juice, plums, figs. There's even a little bit of like a fruit juice note to it, almost like a, like a mango papaya type of flavor. A little bit of coconut, a little bit of oakiness in there. Big caramel, big toffee, lots of a, almost like a boozy sweetness coming off this one. Just an intense smelling barley wine. All right, guys, so the taste on the J.W. Lee's Harvest Ale. Cheers. Oh, wow, that's really, really sweet. Right at the front of the tongue, a big, big, big sugary, syrupy sweetness. A little bit of caramel, a little bit of toffee. Middle of the mouth, um, <clears throat> a little bit of oakiness in there. Very, very light barrel in the actual flavor. I'm getting dark fruits though, figs, raisins, uh, almost like an overly ripe plum, a pitted type of fruit in there, like a winter fruit type of character. Super sweet aftertaste. Uh, in the aftertaste, I'm getting a little bit of a coconut Maybe a little bit of sweet coconut in there, a little bit of an oakiness, more of that dark fruit, raisins, figs, really kind of shining through in the aftertaste. Not getting a whole lot of barrel in this one, but the barrel that is there, I think might be a little bit is being killed by the sweetness in this actual beer. It is a very, very kind of big sipping, sweet English style barley wine for sure. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the J.B. Leaf Harvest Ale aged in Calvados barrels, 11.5%. With that said, getting a B- minus for me. This is a little bit sweet for my taste. I really like English-style barley wines, even more so than the American style, but this is just cloyingly sweet. Getting a B- minus for me because I think there is a pretty solid beer here. You can drink this. I would definitely split this. It's not even a 12-ounce bottle. Definitely split it with a friend and, you know, sip on it maybe over an hour or so, let it warm up. Um, it, it gets better with some heat, some, some temperature to it. But with that said, I would definitely recommend putting one in your cellar and let it sit for a couple years, getting a B minus from me. And remember, folks, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.